What up, what up? It's Dom Kennedy, live, lower east side at Prohibit. Just got done listening to the original Dom Kennedy. Shout out to everybody that came out. Big shout out to Hip Hop at Lunch. West I would love to on the way. Yeah. So we just heard the original Don Kennedy yeah, yeah. This project, man. I wanted to talk a little bit about the title and cover yeah. art, how uh -huh. it all came about. The title and the cover art? Man, the title really came from just, it was something that I started saying, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like, uh, you know, with the music that I was creating for this project and how I was doing it, I was like, man, I, I'm, I, I find, it's kind of like a statement, like standing alone, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and just coming into your own as an artist and, and, and finding yourself and being yourself. And I was like, and I was like, I, nobody else could say that they make the songs that I make, you know what I'm saying? And I was really proud of that. And I was like, I feel like I'm a one of one. You know what I'm saying? So I just started saying the original Dom Kennedy, and then I was like, I'm going to stick with that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't sure if I was going to call him a project called that, but I just started saying I'm the original Dom Kennedy. So then I just ended up naming the project that, man. And the cover art, I mean, we had a lot of different cover arts for each individual song. Shout out to my homie Jovan from the Fresh Crew. The main cover art was done by the JBC by my homie Kel, but the, each different track, it was just an idea that I had, really. I know that people, you know what I'm saying, got their iPods and they and they and they laptops and they and I'm really a fan of artwork, you know what I'm saying? So I was like I told my homie the idea, like, man, we need to do something for each song, not thinking that people would really notice too much, but when it came out, the response from people and everybody really noticed and that made me feel real good because I pay attention to detail. Yeah. Yeah, man, and on the uh, the cover art you had that uh, quality since nineteen ninety seven, made yeah. in the Merc Park. Exactly. That was dope, exactly. man. Exactly. I appreciate it. And before that came out you had that like mission statement. Type thing. Oh yeah, on the what, website. What was that about, man? Man, it was just, you know, it was where I was at. I'm always into trying something new and like forcing an envelope more so than just doing what everybody does. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in rap, I feel like they put out a song and they tell you about their project forever and then they put it out. And I'm, I'm not never, I'm, I'm never with doing what everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? And I was just in a real place, like I was watching, you know, listening to a lot of my music. I hadn't put out nothing in a while. Like I'm not really the type of artist to just put out. A song and be like my project is coming out on this day download it because of this song so I was thinking of ways that I can express myself you know what I'm saying without without just the music you know what I'm saying and that, and that picture actually is a is a photo of St. Dominic from uh, St. Peter's Basilica you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm named after you know what I'm saying my name is Dominic so I, I, I had researched that picture and then and then I just added the captions like I wrote it down and told my homie like do something with this picture and put the put the put the uh, words on top of it basically the text and that's how it came out that was dope man yeah real dope and you uh you ended the project with the bonus track like yeah. when you see love was, uh -huh. that the, was that BJ the Chicago kid on no, that no that wasn't BJ that was my homie Chuck shout out to Chuck he's one half of uh, hella good I know a lot of people that know my music know my homie Polyester Polly uh, he does a lot of production and that's his other partner uh, Chuck he lives in Hawaii right now but they had that song actually it's not on the track listing because I did that song after we mixed the uh, original Dom King like the 11 songs we mixed them and then we was going through beats and like songs and he played that and it just had the, the, the little bit of the chorus on there and it, and I just felt it so much like in that night that I had to you know I just felt compelled to rap on it and then I was like what am I gonna do with it and then I just loved it so much that I was like man we putting it out the next day with the whole project like why not you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna hold on to it like I feel like this is something that pe that will affect people and people will love to listen to so I just put it with it you know what I'm saying okay. and that's why it was the bonus that's right? why it's the bonus and that's why it's not on the track list because we already had everything Set like the track list in, but I was like, I'm gonna just put it on there for the people that download it. Okay, yeah, because I was gonna ask, like, with the bonus track, yeah. you ended uh, from the West Side with Love with the bonus, bonus track, track too. Yeah. Is that the same type of deal? No, uh, that one was one that I had, and I loved that song so much. But but I it was that song to me sounded like a first track, but I didn't want to come in because it, it was so like mellow. I didn't want from West I would love to start as mellow because all my other work previous to that, you know, people knew me from the more laid back, you know, what I'm saying type mellow shit. But it didn't really fit the structure of any other place. So I was like, what other place would I put it where it would stick out where people would give attention to it? So I was like, if I put a bonus next to it, people will listen to it. Even if they don't listen to all the other songs, they'll be like, why did he make this the bonus? And they'll listen to it. So that's why. I put me again off from the West Side with Love as a bonus track. Yeah, man, I was going to ask about me again, like, yeah. real personal motivation. Like, what was the inspiration behind that and the whole, like, ending with the quote? Just the that? track. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I worked so hard on From the West Side with Love, and it was funny because when I was growing up and when I started rapping, I always told myself, like, if I rap, like, it would be dope to, like, say something, 
but just not, not while I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? Just leave people with something. And I was real proud of the success from the West Side Love, but I was even more proud that the last thing that people heard from me wasn't even a rap. It was something that I just was speaking from the heart. Like the last thing that that leaves you on from the West Side Love is is that part on me again where I'm talking as it fades out. And that was something that I really I always dreamed of. Like like really coming up, I always wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? Just talking and let people feel me. You know what I'm saying? Just from talking instead of just trying to impress people with rhymes and all of that. Definitely, definitely did that, man. Yeah. Sure. So what's what's your uh, favorite track off the new project? The original Dom Kennedy. Like what's off your the favorite original track? Dom Kennedy. Man, I would have to say. For right now, I mean, I love when you see love, but for a different reason, you know what I'm saying? Just because I feel like that's like a record that when I'm 50 years old, no matter what I'm doing, I could still play and feel good about life, you know what I'm saying? Myself and reflect. But in terms of like the music, I would say uh, the homies, just because of just it's so like raw and different. You know what I'm saying? And then I put my homie on there talking and that was like I did I had and I'm and I'm just like I'm just happy that people like that song and they don't have no idea who my homie is and it was kinda of like one of those things where I was like I was tired of rappers, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, everybody like, I gotta have a feature, I gotta have a big name person, you know what I'm saying, to do good on my song. And I was like, fuck that, I just put my homie on on the song, you know what I'm saying? And that's more so how we live, and it tra and that song gets played all over the country, you know what I'm saying, with just somebody that people don't even know, just my homeboy. So, you know what I'm saying, that's why I, that's why I love that song a lot. Who produced that track, man? Swift D. Swift D. Too. Yeah, Swift D sure. produced that. Shout out to Swift for sure. So before we go, like from the West Side, would love to like. Yeah. Is it a continuation or like you picking nah, up? Nah, it's left not a continuation or? at all. It's just a, it's just a new chapter. It's like a new movie. Same characters, but it's but it's 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 more where I'm at today. Like I'm never trying to do anything that I did before. I feel like that would be unfair. That was part of the reason why I did the original Dom Kennedy and put it out and introduced new music and a new sound because that I feel like to do the same thing that would be cheating. That was part of the reason why I did it too because I feel like a lot of people made a CD that sounded like from the West Side with Love. You know what I'm saying? And, and copy my style. And that's why it was called the original Dom Kennedy. So the so West Side Love 2 is not going to sound anything like uh, the original. It will be a lot better and a lot more current and a lot more closer to, you know what I'm saying, my real life, as you can tell from the original Dom Kennedy.